Hello, hello. Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you doing with all the rain? Hello, hello. Hello to all of you. Welcome to your final class. It is a pleasure to have you here and to have the opportunity to serve you once again. It is very important this day because we're going to finish and wrap up with everything that we have been doing and all the different things that we have been working. So I hope all of you enjoy this day. Welcome. Hey, I only have six students. Where are the other ones? Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. I am going to send them, send them a message to let them know that we're waiting for them. Maybe they are nervous because of the presentation. Okay. So, how was your weekend? <laughs> Maybe they are, they are nervous because of that. How was your weekend? Uh huh. Tell me a little bit about it. Mr. Marlon, how was your weekend? Busy. Busy. What did you do? Mm, I, I go to the stadium. Oh, really? Yesterday. You I went to the stadium, you say, because I it's went. past. Uh -huh. See, sí, I went. You went to the stadium to play or to see a game? To see a game. Oh, really? Hey, that's nice. I hope you follow all the different uh, sanitary rules. <laughs> Some people say that they are still in the bus. Okay, we're going to believe them. <laughs> okay. So, um, I hope you have followed all the biosecurity rules for this COVID pandemic because it is very dangerous nowadays. I mean, right now in this moment of the year, it is very, very um, dangerous. Well, let me see, Miss Ana Beatriz, how was your weekend? What did you do? Uh, very good. I take my vacation. Oh, you took vacation. Hey, that's very nice. So right now you are at home for 15 days. That's fantastic. Ex excellent. It's excellent because you can rest, enjoy, stay there, and for sure, enjoy your time at home. That it's pretty nice. Well, that's fantastic. Let me see. Mr. Marlon, how was your weekend? What did you do? I went to the stadium <laughs> to, to see <laughs> <laughs> to see FAS versus Metapan. Aha, uh -huh, you see, now you could give me the message complete, right? I went to the stadium to see this and this and this. So oh, you could give me a better message. That was good, very good. Now, Mr. Elmer, what did you do on the weekend? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Um, in my weekend, I visited my parents in the Chalchuapa city. Oh, really? Me too? <laughs> Really? Where where do they live? I mean, um, they're, they're my, in par my parents. My, my parents be live near to the park. My parents, do. <laughs> come on. So they uh, live. They um, live near exactly, the park. Exactly. Huh? Exactly. My parents live next to Cablevision. Oh yeah, I know. I know. 
well, my, my parents live uh, near the park, but on the road that goes to the market. So we were in Chalchop, I imagine. We were in the same place. <laughs> hey, that's very Marty. nice. Hey, maybe in, imagine me in Chalchop is like, Elmer. Teacher. Teacher. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been nice. Me in the park there chilling. <laughs> Same, yeah. Hey, that's really awesome. That's a beautiful city. I really love it. It's not because it's my city, but I really love it. I really love going there. Mister, thank you, Elmer. Mr. Roberto, how was your weekend? What did you do? My weekend was, let me see, Saturday in the morning, I was to run. I went to run. When? Saturday. Uh -huh. No, you say, I I went running, you say. That's the phrase that you use. On Saturday, I went running. I, ah, I went. <laughs> yes, yes, no, went. So. Uh -huh, yeah. Running in the morning. Later, I ate with my family. And Sunday, I rest. Every day. Hey, that's good. I rest all the day. You say rest oh. all the day. That's fantastic. Very good. Awesome. Let's see one more. We're going to listen to another girl. Miss Doris, what did you do on your weekend? Miss Doris? Hello, hello. Hello. What did you do on your weekend? I watch TV. I cook. I um, I visit the friends. You uh, visited friends. That's nice. Um. Uh, watch, watch the series. Oh, you watch series. That's pretty awesome. Well, my dear students, today we have our final presentations. But before we start with the presentations, I need you please to enter to the platform there in your cell phone, in your computer, in any device that you work on it. And I need you to send a picture of your progress. For example, I am going to send you one as an example. This is what you need to send. That's for all of us to be clear that we are just done with everything. Okay, I am going to send you one uh, just, just for you to see it. Okay, it's not for you to say like, hey, who is the student or something like that? No, okay, let me see. Okay, I'm going to copy what you are going to send me. And I am going to send it to you on WhatsApp for you to see the example. This is what you need to do. Right now, I need you to enter to the platform and to go to the progress. Go to the part of progress and you are going to send me a picture exactly like the one that I am going to send you right there. If you are in the computer and you have the platform in your computer, you can share the screen and you can show it, okay? I am going just to cover the name of the student here, very good. And let me see, cha cha cha. I think it's done. I am going to send you an example there in your, on your uh, WhatsApp of what you need to send me, okay? I send you an example there. It's right there, the picture. And this is what I need you to send me. If you are on the computer and you have the progress in the computer, you can share the screen for you to show me the complete progress. And uh, if you have finished everything, it says there, ver certificado, and we can actually see that everything is complete, okay? So I sent you an example in WhatsApp of what I need to receive. And if you have it in the computer, you can share the screen right now and you can show it to me, okay? Uh, 
Yes. I have. Tenemos que enseñarle la plataforma ya finalizada. Yes. That's what I need to see. If you have it in your computer, then you can share the screen. Or if not, you can send me a picture in WhatsApp exactly as I did in the example. Okay, recibieron el ejemplo que les envié en WhatsApp? There you go. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Vanessa. I got your picture. And there you have. Tu certificado está disponible. They say that's pretty awesome. Congratulations, Vanessa. Very nice. That is like the mini graduation that you received the diploma. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see. Okay. Kelly, thank you for sending me the picture. Mr. Gustavo, fantastic. Teacher, yes. Una consulta. Uh, yo terminé lo de la plataforma hasta la sección 5. Mm -hmm. Hice lo, los seis exámenes y pues esa parte no me la. O sea, no sé dónde. Arriba, de... arriba donde dice progreso, arriba eh, tiene unas opciones y hay una que dice progreso. Progreso. Ah, Here. progreso. Yes. Ajá, y ahí le vas a decir uh, las barritas. Yari, uh, thank you. Request certificate. Ajá. There, you can, show me, you can show me that one. If you have it in your computer, you can show me the computer. If not, you can send me a picture. That's perfect. Thank you, Yari. Thank you, Beatriz. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Gustavo. Tengo que darle request certificate. Yes. Thank you, Marlon. Yes, certificate. Yeah. Si le da request certificate, va a poder ver su, su certificado ahí. Ernesto, very good. Doris, excellent. Fantastic. This is the graduation moment. All of you are receiving the diploma. Ah, crecen tan rápido. There you go, very good, very good. Okay. Berito, thank you. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. Thank you, Roberto. Yes, there you go. Excellent. 96%. Fantastic. Okay, I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have received 10. And we are 13 people connected. And all the other ones that are missing. Mr. Elmer, thank you very much. 97%. Very good. Check your certificates, please, that they have your correct name and all that, that you don't have a different name or a different uh, written form in the name. So that's why I make this activity for you to check that everything is correct. Okay, that everything is correct and everything is done. 40 hours. Yes. 40. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And there you go. You see? Time really flies when you have fun. Definitely. Okay. Thank you, my dear students. I have received many of your certificates. If you haven't sent me yours, please, uh, I am going to be waiting for it. Well, we're going to start with the presentations. I don't know who wants to be the first one. If not, I can choose. Uh -huh. If anyone wants to volunteer, say, ah, me teacher, I want to break the ice. I want to be the first one. I will give you the option. Uh -huh. Three, two, one, no? 
Okay, we're going to make a little raffle then. See? No volunteers? Not at all? Volunteers for the speech. Uh-huh. Volunteers for the speech. Me, no, yes, no. No one. Okay, we're going to make a little raffle. Let me see. I need to get a paper. I need to get a paper or, okay, I have the board right here. I have my board, good. And I have my marker. We're going to do it like that. Okay. Um, I am going to write a number here from one to 15. I wrote a number on my board from one to 15. And I am going to ask you one by one to give me one number from one to 15, okay? Between one and 15. And the one who guesses the number, it's going to have the opportunity to decide who is going to start, okay? Mr. Marlon, give me one number from one to 15. Ten. No, Elmer, one number from one to 15. Huh? The button microphone. Seven. Seven. <laughs> That's the number that I have right here. <laughs> number seven, Mr. Elmer. Who is going to be the first one? <laughs> um, it's on okay. Elmer. Huh? Who? Mr. Okay. Abdiel. Okay, Abdiel, thank you. You are the first one. Abdiel, you choose the next one. Hello. Hello. We cannot see you, Mr. Abdiel. Tengo un segundo, me voy a conectar con otro dispositivo para poder ah, hacerlo mejor. Ok, ok. Deme un segundo. Que pase otro. <ríe> ah, no, no, no. You were the chosen one. <ríe> What a lucky you. Come on. Hey, Mr. Elmer, you read my mind. Well. Ok. So we're going to wait for Mr. Abdiel. Mm -hmm. If not... Ana Beatriz wants to do it. I, I see her, I see in her face that she wants to do it. Ya han tenido otras presentaciones orales en, en inglés corporativo, ¿no? Teacher. Ajá. Eso es para la tarea. Ajá. Ok. Y era una presentación. Eh, no precisamente tenían que hacer una presentación porque es un examen oral. Ok. okay. Uh -huh. uh, my uh -huh. speak is very short. Okay, you can do it. Go ahead. Pues el número uno. <laughs> After Abdiel, you say, "Hey, Abdiel is there? All, all good looking there. All elegant. Who's the painter? Yeah. Fue. Ya lo vi. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's your moment." Okay. Y es... Tengo que empezar yo. For sure. Elmer, Elmer. Bueno. Pues pagará. Bueno. Um, empezó. My name is Abdiel. Um, my favorite food is basil plant. My favorite class is the food um the sport my favorite sport is yoga i usually practice yoga um monday thursday wednesdays and saturday in equilibrio yoga community my favorite teacher is Padme and teacher yes um i get up i get up uh, i usually uh, i usually get up 
um, five o'clock. I I eat breakfast breakfast um six a.m. I work in Sportline America the in in San Salvador. Thanks. Um, teacher Nati and um, co work and no, no sé cómo decir, y otros compañeros, otros que están acá que no son mis, my co workers and other friends, you said, other friends for, for chair, um. For share um, que es conocimiento, quería decir fue. Knowledge. Um, Knowledge. In moments, um, in happy moments. Thanks. Um, y, okay. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Reactions for Abdiel. Very good. Abdiel, who is going to be the next one? Me. Te salvó Elmer, Roberto. Roberto, go ahead. Ah, no. Ana. Ana le levantó la mano. No, no sé si tú querías. Si no, con todo. <laughs> go ahead. And then uh, you decide who is the next one. Go ahead. Well, good night, everybody. My speak is very short. In this course, I learned different words about the sports, fruits, biggest, and, sorry. And I hope learn more vocabulary for, how, how do you say, mejorar? To improve. For to improve my confidence, fluency. Uh, let me see. Really, I learned different things, different abilities for speak. And my co-workers are very kind and a smart person. And I hope learn with everybody. And that's it. Thank you very much. Excellent job. Thank you very much, Roberto. And who's the next one? Mm, let me see. <laughs> Vamos a hacer que sea mujer, porque pues. <laughs> <ya>. <laughs> Oh, Anna has a cat. What a beautiful thing. <laughs> no es personal, Anna, así que tú eres la, tú eres la siguiente. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay, Hello. good. Hello. My name is Anna. I work in Scotland, America, since 2014. Uh, I learned uh, the family member names. Uh, how use the preposition at, in, or on. <laughs> Quiero estar en la presentación. <laughs> eh, vocabulary about transportation, uh, simple present, plus regular verbs, um, simple present plus irregular verbs. Eh, Vocabulary about place in house and apartments. Uh, there is and um, there are when referring to different objects, uh, isn't an RM, uh, the use is singular and plural. Uh, vocabulary, vocabulary foods, creo que lo dije. <laughs> 
eh, los com and on com nouns. Uh, how to use the expression some and any. Y final, sports and season vocabulary. <laughs> Creo que eso es todo. Uh, sorry. Este... Only that. What what do you want to learn in the next module? Ay, what a cute uh, thing. Oh, ella quiere estar. Uh, continue with the same this year to learn uh, the pronunciation. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Ana Beatriz. Who is the next one? Next one. Marlon Barrientos. Mr. Marlon, go ahead. Thank you very much, <laughs> Ana. Go ahead. <laughs> Another time that Elmer was saved. <laughs> what a uh, beautiful thing. Good evening. Uh, my knowledge acquires in these weeks is, for example, the vocabulary is to talk about transport. For example, um, I drive a car, I, I walk to work, I drive a motorcycle. And another topic is the vocabulary about furniture and other items for drowning. For example, a bed, desk, lamp, table, chairs. And another interesting topic is the vocabulary about about types of word. Um, we have, for example, singers, doctor, nurse, musician. Uh, another import, important topic is the types of food. In this topic, uh, we have the vegetable, for example, tomatoes, uh, carrots, and we have some fruits, for example, for, for example, bananas, mangoes, and we have the countables and uncountable nouns. Uh, for example, and one countable can be the orange, and one uncountable is the sugar. Another topic is, is the use of can or can't. For example, I can say uh, I can play soccer and I can't play the piano, I can't cook pizza. And the topics that I like is are, are uh, for example, the activities of in schedules. For example, when I say my class start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 a.m. and I take the bus at 7.30 a.m. Uh, the, the topic of the parts of house, for example, living room, dining room, garage, kitchen, uh, the topic of the adverse, uh, adverse of frequency, uh, these are often, usually, sometimes, always, never. And I have to reinforce the topics of the WH questions in the use of do and does. And some expectative that I have for the next uh, module is continue learning topics to to better understand the English uh, until I can speak in the best possible way. Only this. Excellent, very, very, very good job, Marlon. For sure, if you continue practicing, you are going to make it. Thank you very much. Who is next, Marlon? Mm, Elmer. I know, I don't know why I knew it. <laughs> Elmer, go ahead. 
My, my name is Selmer. Um, I will not repeat that my classmate uh, how speak that specific parts of the course, but um, this course is important to me because a long time, um, a long time not study English language and particularly like it to learning platform because the grammar is very well explained. I also like it, the class as it has um, been very interactive. The teacher is, is um, very experiment. Uh, I like that only English is spoken. Uh, I think that I pronunciation is learning a lot. Uh, I like the, there is and there are section uh, as we last the use of auxiliary verb like do, like can. Uh, my experience for the next course is to continue learning and lose my fear to speak the English language. Um, only that, and thank you, teacher, for your teaching. Thank you. Thank you, Elmer, for your effort. And you see, like, to lose my fear of speaking, and you have improved a lot. Oh my God, your speaking is a lot more fluent and everything. Continue practicing, Elmer. Very good job. Who is going to be I the next practice. one? No, but you can you can continue improving. Thank you very much. And who is the next one? Um, Doris. Doris, go ahead. Um, my name is Doris. I I live watch my two daughter um, and my husband. Um, our house is is large. It has three bedrooms, a kitchen a living room, garage, a dining room, um, laundry, laundry room, a uh, bathroom, bathroom. Bathrooms, uh -huh. Bathrooms. Um, I like to go to the park on Sunday with my family. Um, sometimes I do it uh, with, 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 with friends. Um, I like to practice running. Um, in my free time, I I like to watch Korean history series, adventure, adventure, adventure series. I like to cook. I have clear. Uh, um, learned or learn, no sé cómo se dice. Learned. 
¿Qué aprendo con tutoriales? I learn, I, I learn, learn with, tutorial. from tutorials or with tutorials? From tutorials. My favorite food is pizza. Okay. Meat and seafood. Um, I am a psychologist by profession and, and I work at Sportline. Um, a human resource coordinator. I love watch what I do because it is not a boring, a boring job. Okay. There is um, always sometimes some something or something 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 new to learn every day very good thank you okay thank you Doris I really like that you included every single thing that we learned on your speech that was very nice thank you Doris for your presentation and what do you need to learn on the next module? What do you want to learn more in the next module? More vocabulary, more speaking, more listening. What do you want to practice more? Um, more uh, listening. More listening. Okay, that's very good. Thank you very much, Doris. Who is the next one to present? Um, uh, Gustavo? Gustavo, go ahead. Thank you, Doris. Very nice presentation. Gustavo, the stage is yours. Okay, Always walking the extra mile. That's pretty lovely. <laughs> go ahead. Um, for this presentation, I realized this presentation. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's presentation. It's a presentation as well. Go ahead. I have two two examples for this presentation. This this example is for me usually day. It, this is a conversation with my sobrino. How do you say sobrino in English? Uh, we started the family members, nephew, nephew. My nephew. Steven, what your schedule like me? My class start at 5.13 p.m. So I leave my work at 6, at 5 p.m. and take the bus or car to my house. Steven, when do your classes end? Me, they end at 8 p.m. Then I have English class at 8, 5 p.m. Steven, so when do you study? Me, my only study to student is the night or early morning. Okay, an example. This example is algo que escuché en la calle y me gustó. In Lubbock, Texas, there is a particular house because in a steel house, this house is home of Robert Bruno. Mr. Bruno is an American engineer. He is a famous for a steel house in his sad history because eight, mon eight months after finished his house, he died. His house is a house only still. Okay. What do I like to see of, on the course? My part favorite on the course, we're learning the correct use of do and does and how, where, what, in has to. 
I always need to practice a lot more so not forget or confuse me. Okay, but would I like to see in the next course? In the next group, I would like to learn more verb or ways to express myself, practice vocabulary more, and enjoy the and you do it. Okay. okay, very good job, Gustavo. Fantastic. Who is going to be the next one presenting? Very good job. You deserve the claps and the reactions. Ernesto? Mr. Ernesto, go ahead, please. Okay, good night, good evening. Good evening, hi. Uh, uh, my name is Carlos Ernesto uh -huh. uh, Martinez Mazariego. Uh, I'm a student. I live in Santa Ana. I work in Sporna in America. I am a salesman. Uh, I study every day. Uh, I'm studying English uh, in the night. Um, my favorite food is uh, a pasta. <laughs> A pasta, uh, my, color, my favorite color is, uh, is red. Uh, I'm studying uh, in the University of El Salvador. Uh, third year uh, of uh, administration de empresas, but business management, creo que se dice, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Business management, uh, third year, and... Uh, I don't know, uh, I study every day. I, in my free time, I, I, I go to, I, I study and I go to my, I visit my mom and I visit my friends and I go to the cinema and I go to, to running and at the gym in the night and in the, the so so uh, I go to the gym <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know I uh, I finished my presentation is here okay and what do you want to learn in the next module what do you want to improve in the next module in the next module uh, to practice practice and, and listening okay very good job Thank you, Ernesto, for your presentation. And who is the next one? Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz already passed. Give me another name. Okay. Um... We are missing Yari, Vanessa, mm -hmm. Jenny. Jenny. I... Okay, Jenny, go ahead. Miss Jenny, go ahead. Hello, hello. Go ahead. Um, the topic that I learned in this model, we learn about um, uh, our family members, or we can we we learn to use um do that. Uh, we learn to use uh, about up and always never and um, the the different profession. Um, we will learn about talent and uh, we'll learn about uh, can use uh, to use a uh, can can't and the the topic that I was that I want to to improve in the next model is um, more grammar and more listening only that it <laughs> Excellent, Jenny. Very good job. Very, very, very good job. So for sure, you are going to continue learning on the next module. Thank you very much for your presentation. Who is next one, Jenny? We're missing Jari and Vanessa. Uh, Jari. Jari, go ahead, please. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. My name is Jarika. In this module, I have learned about the principal subject uh, to have a base to learn English. 
for example, the verb to be, doing that, uh, the frequency adverbs, uh, food vocabulary, etc. Uh, uh, the most significant for me was uh, how to ask questions and how to use frequency adverbs. Um, in the next module, I hope to get more vocabulary and new knowledge of the more subjects in the English. I'm very grateful with my teacher and with English Corporativo for the opportunity. Thank Sorry. you. Thank you, Jari. Very good job. Continue doing your best effort for sure. It's going to give you a lot more benefits in your English learning. Very good job. And I wonder who is the next one. <laughs> we are missing Vanessa. <laughs> Go ahead, Vanessa. Good evening. And my name is Vanessa. In the first class, we start be a study be the, the vocabulary related to transportation. For example, how do you come to work? I come to work by bus. Forming sentence in the present simple. Uh, for example, my parents don't travel by train. They travel in their vehicle. Uh, for forming question in the present, for example, do you work on Saturday? No, I have a day off. Um, at second module, we start by study the vocabulary. 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 Vocabulary to tell about the part of houses and apartments. Um, we learn in answer question with a short answer, yes or not, in the present simple. For example, do you lie in big house? And does the house have a garage? No, I doesn't. Um, we learn to four cents with there is, and they are also how to use some, no, and any. For example, there is a clock in the living room. They are some pictures, kitchen rooms. They aren't chairs in the living room. And um, in the model three, we study the vocal, vocal vocabulary vocabulary about common jobs. Uh, for example, she his music. Um, a realizing question with uh, why age in the present. Uh, for example, what do you for living? I work, and we study the sport vocal. <laughs> Vocabulary. Vocabulary and the types of the sport, for example, karate um, and football. Um, that all thanks for the support and for making the class fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, my dear students. Very good job. I think you are the ones who deserve all the claps in these classes because I always say that good teachers are made of fantastic students. And you have made the classes so nice. I mean, I never felt the time in a class. It was like, Poosh! it was like, hello students and hey, it's time to go, right? I never felt the time uh, in the classes because you were very dedicated and that it's very nice. Well, my dear students, I am going to give you some details about the things that we need to improve. What are some of the words that we need to practice? For example, the pronunciation of the word favorite. My favorite part was, right? And practice. You don't say I want, I need to practice more. You say I need to practice more. Okay, I need to practice more. When you say at Monday, no, you say on Mondays, on Mondays. Uh, on five o'clock, you say at five o'clock, at five o'clock, and at six o'clock, right? The pronunciation of the word co-workers, co-workers. Uh, the pronunciation of schedule, 
schedule. Schedule is horario, right? My schedule. Famous, famous. It's not famous, okay? Famous. Uh, the next one, the next one is um, on the night. No, you say at night, at night. I study. You don't say I study. You have to say I study, study. I learn how to realize questions. It's not realize question. It's how to make questions. Okay. Let's see the word vocabulary. Okay, vocabulary, or you say vocab. Vocab, it's very informal, but it's easy, right? You say vocab. I need to learn more vocab in English or vocabulary, right? Vocabulary. The next one, you have uh, the pronunciation of singer, singer, right? The person who sings, singer. Uh, let's see, the pronunciation of bus. Frequency, frequency. You don't say for to improve, okay? You say, I, I need to improve. I need to learn. I need to practice, right? You don't say for to practice, for to improve, for to speak. No, that's not correct. And let's see the word prepositions. Prepositions, places in the house, right? Places in the house. And let me see, it is important for me. You say it's important to me. The next one, the word adventure, adventure and psychologist, psychologist. Only Doris know that she, that that was her mistake because she is the psychologist, right? Psychologist, that's the pronunciation. And favorite, favorite. My favorite part was, can you repeat with me, please? Open the microphones and repeat with me. Schedule. Schedule. Vocabulary. Schedule. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Let me see, what was the other one? Adventure. Adventure. Favorite. 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 Knowledge. 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 Famous. Knowledge. Famous. 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 Let me see. Um, co-workers. 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 Co Learning. Learning. English. 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 Very good job. <laughs> So I am going to close the night by sharing something with you. I am going to share something here. And I have here some tips that I want you to keep in mind, right? Tips to continue learning. In these five minutes that we have left in the class, right? Or last five minutes together. <laughs> Why? Okay. Stay, stay, stay calm, stay calm. I want to share some tips for you to continue learning, right? Because my idea is that if I created good students, I need you to continue being fantastic students in the future. So practice makes perfection. If you practice and practice and practice for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, for sure you are going to improve your English. But if you stay only with the hour of English comparative, it's like, ah, una hora, yeah, that's it. No, right? If you practice one hour, then if you practice one hour with the teacher, you have to practice like five hours for your own learning. So my recommendations for you to continue. Set a goal. What do you want to do with English? What is your goal for learning? right? I want to learn English because I want to improve in my job. I want to learn English because I want to be an example for my kids. I want to help my, my kids with their homework because I want to get another uh, place in the, in the job, right? Or because I really want to do it. It's my purpose. Set a goal for learning. 
Number two, find a routine, right? Find a routine. Practice listening in the morning, right? Play some music, listen to the lyrics, read the songs in English, right? Do karaoke there when you are taking a shower, right? In some cases you play there los temerarios and you shower. No, change los temerarios and put some karaoke there and read the lyrics. It is very important. Find a routine. Listen to some things in English. Read something in English. Watch videos in English. Watch movies with subtitles in English. But find a routine that you are going to do every single day. Number three, make mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, you are not going to learn. Mistakes are part of learning. Why? Because you are going to learn. Si algún día me equivoco, ustedes me van a corregir. Y si, si algún día ustedes escuchan que alguien se equivoca, pueden corregirlo. Because you say like, imagínense que escuchan a alguien diciendo favorite. It's like, hey, no, it's favorite. I learn it. Alguien en el mundo anda diciendo fucsia. You say like, no, it's fuchsia. That's the name of the color, fuchsia. Ah, thank you very much. I didn't know. Okay. Practice a lot, right? Practice alone, practice with your friends, practice on WhatsApp, practice on, on TikTok, I don't know, but practice. Practice a lot. Learn phrases. If you learn a new phrase, write it down, okay? Al principio le hicieron chiste que les dije, ¿dónde está su cuadernito de clases? No, yo no tengo. ¿Ah? <laughs> y ahora todos tienen ahí algo en que anotar. Learn phrases and write them down. Write down the phrases. Practice the vocabulary. I have a complete book of vocabulary that I can give you. And you can use it. ¿Se acuerdan de las imágenes que les mandé de las partes de la casa? I have a complete book on that one. So I can share you the link. If you say, teacher, I want the link for the vocabulary book. And I can share you the book for sure. Record yourself. What is this one? This is a very good recommendation. If you have, you can make a group on WhatsApp with yourself, right? A un grupo ahí con su mamá y de ahí la saca del grupo y se queda usted solo en ese chat. Y grabe notas de voz en inglés acerca de qué hizo en el día, acerca de las cosas que le gustan, acerca de cualquier cosa. Lea un párrafo, pero grábelo. And then, listen to it. Okay? And you are going to recognize your mistakes. En y ahí pueden ir guardando sus notas de voz. Todos los días, todos los días. Si tienen alguien de confianza con quien practicar, envíenselas. That's a good way to practice. Read new words and phrases. Read about things that you like. If you read, imagine that you like sports. Read about sports in English. If you like anime, read about anime in English. If you like... Uh, cartoons, read about cartoons in English. If you like politics, read about politics in English, right? Read articles, read things in English, right? Message people in English. I hope that you don't send messages to any of these friends that you have here in Spanish, okay? A nadie de los que están aquí le tendría que escribir ya en español. Everything in English. Practice one day. Watch movies in English with subtitles in English and try to get the idea. But not a movie that you know by heart. No esa que ya la vi 80 veces y ya se sabe los diálogos. Watch new movies in English with subtitles in English. Use the dictionary and for sure, listen to the pronunciation of words. Si no sabemos cómo pronunciarlo, go to the internet and say, how do you pronounce and the word? Y hasta le va a salir ahí la boquita y la pronunciación y todo. So those are it's my a, recommendations for you. Yes, Roberto? In my case, I use an app. The name is Dolingo. I'm, oh, that's good. It's a very good one. You can continue yes. using it. I learn different words with the app. That's very nice. I am going to send you another one on the chat that it's also very good for you to practice reading. So, but the one that you use, Roberto, it's very, very good. Okay, so the recommendation, you can send the link on 
de chat. Si ustedes también ocupan otras apps que les sirven para practicar, compártanlas en el grupo. A todos nos pueden servir. Ok, my dear students, it has been a great pleasure to serve you. And I hope and I really pray God to find you later on in the different modules. Ok, allá lo voy a estar esperando en avanzado dos. <laughs> And we're going to continue okay. learning. It has been a great pleasure. You are amazing people and continue doing this great job that you do. Okay? Son realmente admirables. Sigan aprendiendo. No se rindan. No tiren la toalla aunque estén cansados. Así que así como van ahorita de responsables, sigan y terminen. Porque yo quería darles el diploma ya a inglés corporativo cuando se gradúen. Okay? <laughs> Have a beautiful night and I am going to see you in the next module hopefully or in another one or in another one or in the next one thank you very much for being here and for your participation in the classes it has been a great pleasure to serve you thank you kids thank, thank you so much teacher thank you bye-bye teacher. Teacher. blessings see you in the next modules bye-bye bye. 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 bye everyone